We go way, way back. I'm so excited to have you yeah, here on the thank show. Thank you. Uh, and so excited to see the success of Dish Catering. So for people who are unfamiliar, uh, just give us a quick kind of motto of, of what your business is like. So we have stayed, it's been a decade, close to a decade now, we've stayed a uh, boutique catering firm, but we do full service events. So it is uh, styling, staffing, custom menus. So we change with the season. Um, and we typically come in, whether it's corporate or private, and just take over and then people can enjoy their event, whatever it may they'll be. They'll walk in, they'll take over everything, you just step yeah. back, and yeah. then at the end of the night you say thank you. Yeah. Is that pretty much how it goes? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing some wonderful uh, trends. We're seeing a different way of entertaining right now. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, especially as we're heading into spring and summer, you've brought some great ideas that you would normally use at some of your events that people can actually use on the home front. Yeah. And I, the reason I brought these items in is I know that as when I'm entertaining at home, I want something that I can make in advance, have it look great, be able to visit with people, meet with people, have a drink, and not be slaving. So tapas style, where small plates work really well. Um, now, we all know that there's crudite and there's cheese boards and there's charcuterie you can put out. But I also think if you use the things... I'm going to have to some of those definitions later. <laughs> I, I, you I'm, know good. I'm good, I'm good, yeah. <laughs> um, and this, there's nothing about this. I mean, this is a lobster roll, and you can just get a little mini lobster, you know. Mm -hmm. You can pre-make the lobster put it in the, in the bun a couple of hours before, grilled shrimp, spot prawns are out now, so that's nice. And this is just using what I had in my cupboard at home, some vintage little champagne glassware. So crisps are great. Everyone loves a salty uh, little bite with their drink. So, these so are we just make these at Dish Tube by hand. Sorry, I, gotta, I, don't, I, I have to go. I know, okay. it's hard to say. No, they're, they're amazing. They're really great. Uh, this is like a chorizo. This is a pogo, but a pretty pogo. It so is. It's a lot different of a pogo. So yeah. what is the, what is? I mean, yes, it's pogo, but we've got all of these little. That's just a arugula. Throw it in the blender and put it, it on. Like that but use what you use what you have. Maybe things that are unconventional, um, and these things can stay out and maintain their integrity for for a long time. And this is a this is like a fresh Thai roll. So that's vegan and. You know, those can be pre-done. And I think just looking at grouping things together, maybe a stationary table, using what you have at home, and using things that are great for summer. I mean, but the way you thought this through, I mean, I don't think I'd ever would have thought this is where I'm going to put my chips, but it's a lot of fun. And I think the guests would probably, it's easier for them yeah. to be able to maneuver and take things in and eat while they're kind yeah. of hanging out. And there's, I think there's a lot of things at home we don't use, right? Maybe it's heirloom pieces mm -hmm. or maybe they're plates. And I think if you incorporate that. We always tend to kind of just put them away because they're they're for safekeeping. And then what what's, what purpose is it when it's sitting in a yeah. like you know in a chest somewhere? I guess so. Take them out and use them and mm -hmm. have them out to show. So these are the and these are things too that would be on your menu. Things that people could have if they've got a cocktail party, anything like that. Absolutely. And it, again, it would be seasonal. So we would do uh, we would look at what's happening. Uh, you know, in the in the fall, we'll often do a beet chip or a roasted root vegetable and make a chip. So there's all sorts of things you can do. You can add different flavors on them. What are you looking forward to right now as you're heading into the spring summer season? Bring oh, you lighter and green. And I get, I get very uh, attracted to color. So when I'm looking at food, I mean, I love the color of this and, and getting out of um, comfort food is great, but just a little bit lighter. lighter. Pairing, pairing perhaps, you know, greens or fruit with other proteins I think is nice in a smaller amount. In terms of doing some of these sauces, mm -hmm. is this, I mean, this adds the color for yes, sure, yeah. but the taste. Mm -hmm. And this was our take on the classic shrimp cocktail, you know, with the tomato the one grilled that you get out of the, the poached shrimp. The one shrimp. you get out of you the freezer, the one, <laughs> the one in the you, ring. <laughs> yeah, so it's the same idea. We all love that, but this is, instead of tomato, this is uh, roasted beet mixed with um, a bit of horseradish and a tiny bit of, you can add even a tiny bit of sour cream if you want to make it really pink and vibrant but it's the beet in place of the um, tomato. And uh, Jesse, who's behind the camera mm. right now, he's, he loves being in the kitchen, but he, he had this peg pretty quickly. This is We really had four of those before he showed up. Did you, he did not eat them already. <laughs> here, 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 here. The so this was the, but this was the fig and prosciutto. Yeah. And what else it's a there? short pastry, so you could use, those could, again, could be pre-made mm -hmm. in your, keep them in your freezer, and you could add whatever is seasonal. So. You could put anything in that base, so it's a short pastry, a little bit savory. So whatever mold you have, and then just, you know, this is classic pairing. So it's prosciutto and some fig and 
It's a classic pairing. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's classic. It's classic. We're going to have plenty more with uh, dish catering. Uh, we've, they've got an, a beautiful table that's set up. I think I love the way that the feel is. You just want to sit and converse and have conversations with the people at your desk. We're going to do also pairing. Uh, we're looking at some sparkling wines, too. Yeah.